in the intervening period we and let me tell you one thing the african continent has been traumatized and remains traumatized today africans were enslaved africans were colonized africans claim that we gained our independence but the neo-colonial project is alive and well speak to ngugi wathiongo he'll tell you that our minds are still colonized and that is why he talks about decolonizing the mind because throughout the ages the battle has always been the battle of the minds that is where it is won and lost and one of the things that i've discovered over the ages is that those who want to control you the first thing that they do is to change your name even god changes his name when he wants to deal with you when you are abram he makes you abraham when you are sarai he makes you sarah and the very first thing that the colonialists did was to change our names to convince us that a christian name could only be andrew and mary and jane and all these other names that kamau cannot be a christian name <laughs> that njoroge cannot be a christian name and we believed it and i'm submitting to us that there is a sense in which our minds are not free i'm submitting to us that at all critical times in history we have to make painful choices i'm speaking to you african are present here what choices have you made have you made choices to run away to the united states to get the green card is that your choice have you made a choice to run away to europe to flip hamburger have you made a choice to run away to go to europe and to be humiliated at the embassies of the united states of america australia and the united kingdom i'm submitting to us that we must change because the divine instruction is that each one of us must make do with what we have it cannot be right that a continent that is so blessed has high young men and women with only one ambition to go to the united states i know families where when wives are pregnant they want to go to the united states that they may give birth there that their child may be a citizen of the united states of america the united states of america was not built by an army of angels no it was built by human beings and i'm submitting to us that going forward like shadrach meshach and abednego we must make a choice and i'm submitting to us that we must change now because if we don't change now you are going to be subdued by other civilization and as i said at one forum and i repeat it now there are two ways of being at the dinner table of civilization you can be at the dinner table as a diner or as a waiter choose you now whether you want to be a diner or a waiter choose you now in the intervening period we must eat 